May God's peace and mercy be upon you. Today we will talk about a very important moment. It is the moment of the day of resurrection, and this is the day that it was mentioned in the Holy Quran and the purified Sunnah of the Prophet. In this video, we will explore the concept of the day of resurrection and the moment in which God Almighty will blow the pictures. We will learn about the Quranic verses that talk about this great event and the meaning of these verses in a simple and clear manner. We will also examine the concept of the martyr in this context and how he bears witness to the deeds and deeds of human souls. In this video, we seek a deeper understanding of the meaning of this great moment and its importance in our great religion. We invite you to stay with us and join us. Share your questions and comments in the comments box below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to receive all new updates. Let us begin our conversation by learning about the Day of Resurrection and the Divine Testimony. In this video, when the Day of Resurrection comes, and God Almighty blows the trumpet, and God Almighty gathers the ancients and the last until the promised day, which He has promised they are concerned that He is a being and He will unite them in Him, as glory be to Him said in Surah verse number 20. And He blows the trumpet. That is the day of the threat. When that will be for the solemn day in the difficult situation, every soul came and every person came to God, glory be to Him, on that day, and with Him was a driver to take Him to Him, and a witness to bear witness against Him, as God said. God Almighty says in Surat Q, verse number 21, And every soul comes with it a driver and a witness, and this martyr is other than the testimony of his limbs, and other than the testimony of the mind. The death that was due to him and to him, and other than the testimony of his messenger and the believers, for God, glory be to him, calls upon his faithful servants, the prophets, and the places they worked on. Good and evil, and the floggings with which they disobeyed him, and he does not judge between them merely by his knowledge, he is the most just of the just and the wisest of rulers. Some of the people of knowledge said, This martyr is the angels who were associated with him in this world. His deeds are recorded, and his deeds are counted against him. And his saying, And for this reason he, glory be to him, said in Surah Q in verse number 23, and his companion said, H. That is what he has at hand, meaning that when he drives it and brings it to God, he says, This is what you entrusted me with in this world. I have brought it and I will come. Kibble with it. This is the saying of Mujahith, and Ibn Qutayba said, This is what I wrote about him and recorded from his words and deeds. It is present with me, and the verification is that the verse includes two matters, that is, this is the person whom you have entrusted, and this is his work for which you have taken account of him. Then God Almighty says in Surah Kafi in verse number 24. They will throw into hell every stubborn disbeliever. This will either be a speech to the driver and the martyr, or a speech to the king entrusted, with his torment, even if it is. 1. And it is a well-known doctrine from the doctrines of the Arabs in their speech, or the Aleph is reversed from the light nuan of emphasis, then the connection is made like a stop. This is what Ibn al kaim said. Ibn Kathir, may God have mercy on him, said, This is a long way off, because this only happens during a stop, and it seems that it is a conversation with the driver and the martyr. The driver brought him to the court of reckoning, and when he the martyr against him, God Almighty commanded them to throw him into the fire of hell and what a miserable destination. Then God Almighty mentioned the characteristics of this place, so he said in Surah Q, in verse No. 24, 25, 26, they cast into hell every stubborn disbeliever who refuses good, aggressors, and doubters, who has made a family with God. Here is another, so they threw him into severe torment, and six characteristics were mentioned about him, one of which was that he was an infidel, which is an exaggerated form of infidelity, so it means that he committed great disbelief until disbelief took hold of him, or he combined all types of disbelief, as Ibn al kaim said, that he is disbelievers for the blessings of God and his rights, an infidel due to his religion, his monotheism, and his names. 
His attributes, he disbelieves in his messengers and his angels, he disbelieves in his books and his second meeting, that he is stubborn against the truth by rejecting it with ungratefulness and stubbornness, as God said. High in Surah An-Naml in verse number 14, and they denied it, and their souls were unjustly certain of it, and they interpreted the third as being a barrier to goodness, i.e., a severe barrier to it is from all its directions, and it does not recognize goodness as a way to it. It does not fulfill its rights, and there is no righteousness, connection, or charity in it, as Ibn Many, and Ibn al kaim said, and this includes his prevention of good, which is doing good to himself through acts of obedience and closeness to God, and his prevention for goodness, which is kindness to people, there is no good in it for himself or for his kind. As is the case with most of the fourth morals, that despite his withholding good, he is aggressing towards people, unjust, deceitful, aggressing towards them with his hand and tongue, etc. Yesterday it was suspicious, that is, one with doubt and doubt, indeed, they were in doubtful doubt, and likewise with this, it comes for every doubt. It is said that so and so is doubtful, if he is one with doubt. Oh! Sixth, despite that, he is a polytheist in God. He has taken another God with God. He worships him, loves him, becomes angry with him, is pleased with him, swears by his name, warns against him, is loyal to him, and is hostile to him to the point of transgressing against him. His antagonism extends to the angels, and his injustice extends to the companion of the one whose deeds were counted against him and his actions and words recorded, so he claims that he he added to what was prescribed for him. And he was tyrannical, and that he did not do all of that, and that he hastened him by writing about repentance, and did not give him time until he repented, so God says in Surah and in verse number 2, I did not add to what he did in writing, nor did I hasten his repentance, but he was in far astray, and some said people of knowledge, the Karen here is his Karen from the jinn. He claims that he is the one who misled him and led him astray, and that he was the cause of your sins. He escaped and did evil and evil, so his companion would say, I had no strength to lead him astray or deceive him, but he was far astray. He chose him for himself, and preferred him to the truth, as Satan said to the people of hell in Surat Ibrahim in verse number 22. And I had no power over you. Authority, except that I called you and you responded to me. Then God Almighty will say, His remembrance, to these polytheists, whose character he described. Their companions are among the devils. Do not dispute with me, for there is no benefit. Your dispute with me today, and I have presented to you a threat, in this world, my messengers have come to you with clear signs, and clear arguments, and bright proofs, with a threat to whoever disbelieves in me, disobeys me, and disobeys my commands and prohibitions in my books, and on the tongues of my messengers, so my argument has been established against you, and your argument prevailed, and you presented to me what you have neglected some of the deeds that must be rewarded. The word I have is not changed, and I am not unjust to my servants, so I am not punishing any one of my creation for the offense of another, nor do I hold any of them guilty of sin. He sees him and tortures him with it. But the matter is as God, glory be to him, said in the holy Hadith, O my servants, it is only your deeds that I record for you, then I recompense you for. So whoever finds. Good, let him praise God and whoever finds other than that should blame no one but himself. We ask God to protect us from the fire, from the torment of the fire, and from the attributes of God. For the people of hell, and every action brings us closer to hell. Thus we reach the end of this video, in which we explored the concept of the day of resurrection and divine testimony. We have learned about the importance of this major event. We know that this topic may raise many questions and questions. This is a natural thing. We must always remember the importance of researching, learning, thinking, and contemplating God's verses in depth about what He has commanded us to do and what He has forbidden us. It is an opportunity for our understanding of life, its meaning, and the reason for our creation. 
We hope that you enjoyed watching this video and benefited from it. Information we provided. If you have any additional questions or comments, do not hesitate to share them in the comment box below and do not forget to share it. Share this video with friends and family. Thank you for sharing. We hope to meet again in the future to explore the videos. Many more useful topics for all of us. May God's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you.